Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackford, and today we're going to go over managing your presets and your libraries with the uh, preset manager. So we're going to be able to manage things like brushes, swatches, gradients, styles, patterns, contours, custom shapes, and preset tools. And you can find that list down up here in the preset manager. So what we're going to do is come over here to edit and we're going to go to presets and preset manager. And you can see those different things here that I was just talking about. So things will we'll just start off with brushes because that's pretty easy to, to uh, learn about. So I'm just going to X out of this real quick. I just wanted to show you the different things that you could um, uh, manage and uh, have presets for. So I'm going to X out of this. And what you need to first do is download some presets off the internet or possibly if you already know how to create your own. So um, I have downloaded some and I have them in a, one of my folders already and I'll bring it up um, over here on, the, on my other opposite screen looking for them right now. Here we go. Now I've got a bunch of Photoshop brushes already that I downloaded from I actually bought these in a pack and I downloaded like them all into like one area called uh, Photoshop brushes and um, you're gonna be if you use Photoshop a lot you're probably gonna have a bunch of folders make sure you keep them in a nice order here so I've got brushes pre presets shapes and uh, that's what I have now and then I also have my like After Effects stuff in opposite or in separate folders because these are what I use mostly right now so we're gonna go back into my Photoshop brushes tool and let me just open it up and show you what uh, a file looks like so we'll go to um, brick wall now we got uh, a set here and it's in an ABR format so that is the extension for a Photoshop preset. Now I'm going to X out of here and we're going to use this to navigate. Actually I'm going to bring this over here so I can just look at it. I don't know why I would want to but let's start by um, checking out our brushes in the um, brush tool right here. So click on this one with the paintbrush and if it's not hold it down here it could be the pencil tool, the color replacement or the mixer brush tool. So get it on the brush tool come up here to the top and click on this down arrow to open your preset picker now there's already going to be some brushes here click on this um, and actually click on any brush and you'll be able to do something with it in your uh, manager here so I've got let me I've got a snowflake there let me make it a little bit bigger and that way you can like paste snowflakes if you really wanted to move that we'll keep that uh, at a decent size I want to change out the color so we can see this a little better I'll make it black now you can actually see what the heck's going on so we've got that there going on now we need to learn how to insert or install the uh, presets that we uh, have loaded so let's go to load click on this little tool icon right here this little gear icon it'll bring up our different um, presets and everything like that our different options for our presets come down here to um, load brushes and move to your um, brushes folder or wherever you have them stored and then we'll come down here to brick wall brushes and I'll click on this one and hit load and it'll load them down at the bottom so now I have my different brick wall brushes here so that's what that um, does so now we have these here at the bottom but they're mixed up here with a bunch of these different other brushes that we don't want so we can go in and uh, oops, we can go in and click on the brushes that we don't want. You can hold shift to click on several of them at once. 
Actually, not in this one you can't. So, well, you can delete them one by one in this area right here. So if you come up to here, you can go to delete brush and it'll get rid of it out of this area. It doesn't delete it off your computer. It just deletes it off of uh, the area here. And if we want to delete multiple brushes, we go to edit and we're going to back, go back to that preset manager. So presets, preset manager. And it shows the brushes that we have currently selected in our preset manager. You can hold shift to select uh, a few of them and just go to delete. And now we just have our pretty much we just have our bricks brushes now I hit done if I go back up to look up here all I have is the brick brushes to select from so that's kinda sweet 